Hey everyone, this is Ken Michaels. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use FB Cash Accelerator. This will be the first in a series of videos or tutorials showing you how to get FB Cash Accelerator up and running, generating leads. Let's jump in and go ahead and get started. The first thing that we want to do is set up our options. So we can simply go to File, then Options. This here is going to take us to our Search Options tab. Now you'll notice here on the left we have the Facebook option checked. If you open up FB Cash Accelerator and that option is not checked, then you want to make sure that you have your drop down menu and select both Facebook options. Once you do that, you can go over here and select what country you would like to search for your leads. Now, every country has a different address format. For our example here, we're going to just select United States. This tells FB Cash Accelerator in what format the leads should come back in so we know how to correctly display the information to you in our grid as concerning the address. If the country that you're looking to get leads for or the country in which you live is not included in this list, then you might want to go ahead and try the United States and see if that works for you. If it doesn't, let us know and we'll go ahead and program that country into FB Cash Accelerator for you. The next option that you have here is to determine how you would like to check for the claimed and unclaimed listings. By default, do you know the owner is selected? But you also have the option to check for is this your business I always use do you know the owner I believe that that is the most accurate way to tell if the listing is claimed or unclaimed now that comes from extensive testing but we do know that a lot of people are still using is this your business you do have the option but I do recommend you leave this checked and select do you know the owner the next thing you want to do is make sure that you're logged into Facebook. You can do that by clicking the login. This right here is the page that you'll see if you're logged into Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and log out. This is the page you'll see if you're not logged into Facebook. And I'm going to go ahead and log in now. This Facebook page here I set up just for searching. I'm not going to suggest that you do the same. I'll just say that you do not have to use your main Facebook account or any one of your business accounts in order to search using FB Cash Accelerator. You can set up a separate Facebook account if you're doing a bunch of searching, just like I've done here. Now, very important, you see this option here keep me logged in you want to make sure that that is checked once you have all that filled out just go ahead and log in once you're logged in you can close this browser right here that's going to take you back to your search options next you have the option to either do a exact match broad match or get it all search I highly suggest everyone use get it all we believe in giving you the option to choose how you would like to search so that's why we left those other options in as far as exact match and broad match if you use exact match or broad match you might need to use proxies and I'll cover that in detail in a, just a few moments but if you're using get it all there's a good chance you won't have any issues whatsoever needing proxies which is just one of the reasons that I use get it all once you have all your listings or your leads in the grid I'll show you how you can easily clean up your grid to only get the results or the listings that you're wanting or the leads that meet your criteria so I just believe in almost every example every case get it all is the better way to search next how many pages deep let me see if I can quickly explain this. There's 10 listings or 10 leads per page. 
So in this example here, I have 10. That means if there is 100 listings, that's how many listings I should get back because there's 10 listings per page. If you're doing a large keyword search in a large location, then you might want to put this on 30, 40, even 60, which means you should get back 300, 400, or 600 listings or leads. If you're doing a small keyword search in a small city, then you might just want to put this on five. I mean, if there's not, you know, 50 listings in your in your search, then there's no reason putting it on 30, 40, or 50. Just go ahead and put it on five. It's a small search, and that's what you should search. In our example, we're just going to leave it on 10. Next is you have your pause or your timeout. If you're on a broadband connection, I would probably leave it on 30. If you're on a dial-up or a, a slow internet connection, then I would go ahead and increase that to 45 or possibly even 60 seconds. Next, we have our back-end threads. I would start, again, if you're on a broadband connection, I would put that on 25. If you're on a slow internet connection, possibly dial-up connection, then you might want to try putting that on 10 seconds, uh, or I'm sorry, 10 threads. This tells FB Cash Accelerator how many threads to use at one time to check Facebook. Obviously, the more threads you use, the faster you're going to get leads. You also have the option to only get leads that have an email address. Again, similar to Get It All, I suggest that you leave this option unchecked, get all the leads, and then clean them up once you once you have them. If you notice that the leads that you're getting back, there's a lot of blank lines, then you might want to increase your thread timing as well as lower your back end threads. Next, we go over to our search terms. You can either enter in one at a time your keywords, which we'll do here. I'm going to put in restaurant. Or you can load your emails or you can load your keywords and locations from a text file by just selecting load list. Whenever you're doing your keyword searches, I suggest that you use the singular versus the plural. So I would use restaurant instead of restaurants. In almost every example or every case, that's going to be true. Next, you're going to put in your location. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and select Miami, and I'll put in Baltimore. You can also search by zip code. So if you're looking to target or pinpoint an area for either yourself or a client, you can search zip codes or a series of zip codes. You can search by city, like we're doing here. You can search by state or by country. So you basically have a multitude of options when it comes to how you would like to do your searching. You can put in multiple locations like we do ha like we have here and multiple keywords. Once we have that filled out, let's go over to our cloaking tab. You'll notice that we have our user agent strings built in the FB Cash Accelerator. I suggest that you use the list of user agent strings that we have built in. You can add your own, but there's really no need for it. Next, you notice that we have full proxy support built in the FB Cash Accelerator. You can use SOX4, SOX5, or HTTP. You want to make sure that the proxies you use are IP authenticated or have no security at all. FB Cash Accelerator does not work with username password authenticated proxies. If you're not sure what I mean there, you can send me a support ticket on our help desk and I would be more than glad to help you with that as well as tell you who we use for getting proxies. The best proxies that we've found are dedicated proxies. They're going to be the most stable and the fastest proxies you can use. Web proxies you can use, but they can become unstable, you're not sure what you get, and they die fairly quick. But 
If you don't want the extra expense of dedicated proxies, then web proxies are always an option. Once you have all this filled out, you can just go ahead and select apply. Now, once you select apply, just hit start. That's how you get FB Cache Accelerator up and running. I'm going to go ahead and close out this video right now, and we'll come right back with the next video showing you how to get your leads or how to view your leads and what all this data actually means and how to use this data.